Mm. How about that? <laughs> okay. Play this one. Is part of it that you have to slam it down with anger? Is that is that how we're playing? Because uh, it seems very aggressive, but okay. Let's go with this one. Nice and easy for you guys. Yeah, like that. <laughs> you fucking kidding me? Uh, all right. Well, I can put it right there. Oh no, he's down to four. She's down to four. I've got four. Oh no. I have no moves. see it I see that three how about my three and five god damn it she has one left So, just in case you need a reminder, just how massive Yara is. Well, you can see there's a lot of land all around, and a lot of water as well. Now, this might help put things in perspective. See at the bottom of those giant hills, there's a little town there. I mean, it's not so little, but it looks little right now. So, we're going to head on over there. And just watch it's that little city. Starts to look a little bit bigger and bigger as we approach it. And yep, another beautiful day in Yara, as always. And I'm not much of a warm temperature person, but there's something about that fresh air. It's just, what can I say? It feels good. And now you see a little bit more clear how big the city is. And you'll see by the size of the city from where we were getting an idea of just how huge Yara is. And uh, no, my status has not changed. I'm still not 
a licensed pilot, but uh, there's not much you can do about it, so I think safety is still my my priority, so I'm not going to do anything unsafe to myself or others. But yeah. And the reason I'm able to do this because I'm here during the day. Because at night there's a curfew. And you do not want to be caught outside after curfew don't think I have to explain why and if you've been along for this journey in my other videos you'll see that uh, it's no joke here they uh, are very quick sure I land here. Oh, whoops. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, it's very much, you don't have much time to comply with them. Most of the time they're just gonna open fire, shoot first, ask questions never, you know, that kind of thing. So, but I don't want to do that today, and hopefully we don't have to. I'm hoping that it's just a peaceful video for you guys to enjoy and relax. Because I don't want your anxiety to go up while you're watching this. But I don't know. That might just happen. Because Yara... Life throws, Yara throws life at you. Just say that. And if you're not prepared to act accordingly, then yeah, it's not going to be a good time. I'm kind of interested of what this place will look like when it's done building. But yeah, this is what I thought my trip to Yara would be. Similar to what I've done in Night City in Los Santos. Just walking around and, you know, showing you what it's like to kind of walk amongst the locals. And yeah, just what the city and life is like. And I have enjoyed the food and the people that I've met. Yeah, you know, the ones that aren't part of the regime, that aren't trying to kill me. They've been pretty great. Very gracious hosts. You know, without without them I would have a vastly different experience but yeah new friends looking out for me and I appreciate it very very much that's why I've been helping them out doing what I can because also they shut the airports down it's kind of tricky trying to get back home and that is still very much my goal, but I don't know. Every day that passes, it just feels like that's almost further and further away.
So I'm trying to stay positive, stay optimistic about going home, but honestly, I have no idea. But I suppose it could be worse, you know? And at least I'm here. I have protection. I have friends, a few friends, and I've been able to survive. But you see, they're not trying to harm me. I'm not trying to harm them. This is what I want to see more of. I wish there was more of that. But again, obviously, it's a huge island. And even though it feels like a long time here for me, barely scratching the surface, and I know that. There's obviously deeper, more complex societal struggles and difficulties that you just can't really observe in such a short time. So I'm sure that it's vastly different living here as opposed to me who's just hopefully, fingers crossed, passing through. One thing I love about Yara is, for better or worse, they're kind of almost like a time capsule of these vintage old school cars that just have more personality. And I'm not really a big cars guy, but these cars just at least have a personality, I feel. One thing that surprised me is that it's not as busy, you know, there's not as many people walking around. And I think it's because of everything that's going on, which makes sense. And that's what sucks, because, you know, this place should be packed. It should be almost, you know, like shoulder to shoulder, I feel. But hey, maybe, maybe that's just me, and maybe the citizens here are all in favor of that. Some sort of a assembly going on. I recognize her, I think. They do too, apparently. I don't know who she is, but... She's got that flag with her. Well, I'm just gonna keep my mouth closed on that. But right now I'm enjoying this. This is Quite nice to see. No patrolmen, armed patrolmen putting fear into all of us walking around. 
Right now I feel safe. And I've not always felt that way while I've been here, so that's saying something. And yes, if you are a fan of jazz, you will love this country. Jazz is still very highly popular genre out here. Many different jazz clubs. And even if they're not specifically dedicated to seems like it still manages to find its influence into you know, the restaurant like that's good See, like, even though they're not all necessarily in pristine condition, that's also kind of what adds to the charm of them. At least I feel. See, like, down that road it should just be piles of people sitting outside grabbing food to eat. It's clear that you know, this isn't normal. Or it might be normal, but it's not. It doesn't sit right in your stomach. Because I want to see people living life. I want to see people laughing and smiling and dancing in the streets. And maybe I'm in the wrong spot for that, but Oh. Oh no. Something's going on. You okay? Those were just people. Huh. I don't know what that was about, but... Check this out. Wow. I wonder if that's his car. Probably. That's very cool. Kind of feels like uh, it's the most James Bond looking car I've seen here. Oh, you know what? It never, never hurts to ask. Excuse me, sir. Do you mind if I take this car for a ride? Yeah? Okay. Oh yeah. Dude, thank you. I'll I'll bring it back in one piece, I swear. Okay, that was my bad. That was my bad. Um if the person I borrowed this car from is watching I owe you one. That's my bad. That's my bad. I can't believe it. But I just got back to the base. They had a surprise waiting for me.
the way to get home. I can't believe it. I mean, I honestly didn't know that it was possible. But I'm so happy. <sighs> Ready to go home. Actually feels real. I come home. <sighs> and oddly now, I'm sad. I feel like I actually am going to miss Yara. We saw some pretty crazy things, but we saw some really cool things. And really it was people helping people. It's truly an experience I will never forget. It's a lot harder saying goodbye than I thought. <sighs> I almost have the urge to turn back. That is so strange. I never thought I would have that thought I'm sitting in this seat. I might take it home. No. 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 You gotta be kidding me. <sighs> I'm never leaving this island. I need your help. Thank you. Thank you.